Hello viewers, welcome to my cookery show. I'm Wairimo from Pikana Power and today we are going to make chicken pilaf my style with just about everything in it. It has some peas, I'm also adding some onions. So welcome. We will use today the pressure cooker, the electric pressure cooker, which has uh, three major parts. We have the pot, the cooking sufria as it were, which has uh, markings on the side which show the maximum level and the minimum level. So ensure that you do not go beyond the manufacturer specifications. And you need to also leave space for pressure. That's the reason why there's a space there. There's a press where the pressure will build up. And also if you're cooking things like rice, like I am today, you have to give it enough room to swell up into the pan. Here we have the insulated uh, part of the cooker, which is actually the cooking pot. This inside here is the hot plate. And here we have the menu selections. Then we have the lid, which is also well insulated and uh, has a weight on the vent to keep the pressure down. On uh, one end, we have the side where it is closed and also there's the opening side in case you want to release the pressure of manually. Here we have a pin that right now is in a collapsed position because it is not, we're not cooking and that is the position it should be when it is safe to open. When it is up, it means that we are, there's pressure in there and you should not try to open. So straight away we'll go into the cooking. So for my pilau, my style, we require two and a half cups of rice. I have half a kilo of uh, chicken breast cut into pieces, dices. I have some chopped onion, one onion. I have two tomatoes, puree. I like to always blend puree my tomatoes. Here I have some yellow sweet hoho. Basically, their main objective of these two colors is because of the color. So that my rice, when I look at it at the end, it will have a bit of color and also it gives flavor. I've also diced them. Everything that I've done is diced. Here are some onions which I had fried earlier, as you have seen. Uh, just uh, these are going to be for garnishing. I have one tablespoon of tomato paste. I have one tablespoon each of garlic and ginger and I also have two tablespoons of ghee which is clarified butter, a much, a much healthier option. I also have a chicken cube which I will use to make some stock and salt and uh, pilau masala. So place your pot in your electric oven. Always use either a silicone wicko or a wooden wicko when cooking with uh, the EPC so that you do not remove the non stick covering inside your pan. So, at the time when you want to use it to cook or bake a cake, for example, it will not get stuck on the sides. Yes, we will make a cake one day with uh, the EPC. So, I'll draw your attention to my meter here. So here we have an energy meter which uh, will tell us exactly how much power we'll use. It also will tell us how long it has taken to cook this uh, meal because we are going to change the program twice so the countdown will be timed two times. So this one will have a continuous time that it will show us and also how much the power we are going to use to cook this meal. Please note everything is zero zero now. So We'll keep referring to it over some time. And here we'll go to our menu and select uh, the saute method, 
which is a program 05 which we are going to use to fry the onions and to fry the meat at the beginning so that uh, we'll later select a menu which will cook for us the pilau under pressure. So my oil has heated up. I'll put in the onion. And you can hear it is hot. You can hear the sizzling. I'll also add in my ginger and garlic. Cover them for a while just to infuse the flavors. So I can, as you can see, my onions are frying with the ginger, they have become brown, they are browning, they are translucent, transparent. So I'll add in the chicken. Before I add the chicken, let us have the pilau mix so that it can also mix well with the onions. So I put in the pilau masala, which I've only put in one tablespoon, but depending on your preference, on your taste, you can add much more. We will now add in the chicken cubes. This is the part of the bread, which is the boneless. And you cut into cubes. Feel free to use uh, chicken, full chicken pieces. You can put in your leg if you want, the wings, whatever. But today I'm using chicken breast, which is boneless and diced. We'll also add in some salt. Salt, I'll put in a, a level tablespoon. Remember, it is not a lot. It's because of the rice, and remember rice requires a lot of salt. So we'll put in one tablespoon. Have my tomato paste. So at this moment we are using the saute, the saute program, which allows you to fry for 30 minutes. It gives you 30 minutes to have already done your fry, so that you can be able to pressurize your pot and start cooking under uh, pressure for the real pressure cooker. You can see now we have come down to 20 minutes. We've been frying for 10 minutes already. I'll put in the yellow hoho. Tomatoes. My red hoho. I mentioned that we will have some green peas which are raw, they are not uh, cooked. I'm thinking about color and uh, about balancing my meal. I have some vegetables in here, I have some protein, and I'm going to have the rice, which will be the carbohydrates and starch. So I'll cover this also for a while, to fry for a while. So I can see my food is frying nicely. The chicken has browned. So we'll add in the rice. The rice is two and a half cups. And please use the same cup that you use to measure if it is the water, any other ingredient that you're using for cup, with cups, use the same cup. Don't measure with a mug. Some, some with a teacup, now with a jug, use the same cup to measure everything. 
So mix everything together. And do not uh, corrog so much because you'll break up the rice and it's likely to become the garnish. So I'll also add now the, the cube together with the water. Usually you would require uh, double the amount of water when you cook in a normal sofria. So if you have two cups of rice, you would use four cups of water. But with the, with the pressure cooker, you use less by one cup. So we would have two and a half cups of rice. So usually we would have put five cups of uh, water, but we will put four. Well, at least it should cover the rice. Remember, the rice is going to expand, so you don't fill your rice to the top. Those were two cups, and this is another two cups. With the pressure cooker, no water evaporates, none is lost. So if you put too much water, your rice will become soggy. So that should be enough, which has uh, immersed the rice. Check the seasoning. See, already my food is looking nice and colorful. So let us wait for the end result and hope that it will be just as pleasant to look at. So we'll now cover our pot. Make sure the vent is on the closed position. The pin is in the dropped position because still at this time we can be able to open the pressure cooker. It is not under pressure. Here we will now change our menu. We'll cancel this. We've already, we still have a countdown of 12 minutes to fry if we still continue to want it to continue frying. But now we're going to go straight into cooking. So I'll do a manual setting today. So you press the manual, manual setting, and uh, you can reduce or add the time, but we want to have 20 minutes, so I'll reduce it to 20 minutes. And within 20 minutes, our rice should be cooked. When it blinks like this, it still gives you an opportunity to add or change your timings the way you want. But the minute it stops blinking, it means it has now set and it is ready for the 20 minutes and we wait for the countdown. The countdown will come once the pressure is up, the pin is up, the pressure will come and then the countdown will begin. So we wait for the pin to go up and then the countdown will begin. So here you can see we have a little steam escaping. That means that it is building uh, pressure. This steam is harmless, it is not hot. So once you see this steam, you know that your pin is about to come up and it's just a little bit of noise as the pressure is building. But once the pressure builds and the pin goes up, there'll be no more noise. So now we're waiting for the pin to come up. It should be coming up any minute now. A few minutes later. Up we go. There it is. Please note now there is no more steam coming out of here. The pin is locked. It has, and the, the vent is at the closed position. The pin is up and the countdown is about to begin. A few minutes later, you can see the countdown now has come. So cooking has now begun in earnest. So after 20 minutes, our pilau should be ready. So wait for the countdown. And uh, meanwhile, I'll take you to my banner. It is definitely way, way cheaper to use the EPC than any other cooking fuel. A few moments later. We are now on one minute before cooking ends. And once the cooking ends, it will automatically go to the keep warm menu, which would keep your food warm for you for up to eight hours. So even if you went away and left your food cooking, it will not be cold because it will go 
automatically to the keep warm uh, mode and there we are at the keep warm mode and this is zero hours so after after an hour it will say one hour two hours three hours and so forth so that if you are away and you come back you will know that your food stopped cooking three hours ago and now it has been warming for three hours so over to our meter we can see that all our cooking has been 46 minutes and we are now going to calculate how much it is costing us to cook this uh, pilau my style we have used 0 0.356 units so that is a uh, 356 multiplied by 22 which gives us a cost of 7 shillings and 80 83 cents to cook pilau my style so if you notice our pin has not yet dropped because there's still a lot of pressure in here we it is possible to manually reduce the pressure but we will wait if you manually reduce it it will go like that but we will wait if you wait for it to release pressure on its own it will take you maybe about seven to eight minutes so we will wait for the pin to drop automatically it has dropped and therefore it is now safe to open the epc but you must never try to open it when it is not uh, when the pin is still up in any case it can't even open so here is our pilau my style and remember we had the onions which i'm using as garnish and doesn't it look exciting now we come to the end of our cookery show i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you're gonna try out the pilau the food i know tastes great please go try it out and remember when you're cooking pilau my style we've been sauteing so with the sauteing we already have a bit of liquid in there a bit of soup from the chicken that we were frying from the tomatoes so do not add water double quantity as you normally would when you're cooking uh, in a normal pot so with this if i have two and a half cups of rice like i did the amount of water to put is three and remember we are already cooking so don't put in cold water put in hot water or warm water so that the cooking proceeds does not go backwards thank you very much remember to like my page and see you next time